This is for Taurus. Ego. Nine of Springs. Ace of Autumn. Nine of Autumn. Four of Autumn. Renewal. And the Chariot. Okay, the birds chirping outside. People who were once wielding against you will be going back. The Mother of Cups is telling you somebody else to leave. Maybe you've got a child at home. The Will of Fortune, that's a good sign. Something to do with the family. This may be an inheritance. Romance dying because it's in reverse. Maybe you're getting a new love because of an legal entanglement. Or some kind of family feud. Six of Pentacles. Son of Swords. The illusion of being trapped is placing too much importance on material gain. Getting caught up in fear and worry. Protect the fruits of your labors. Um, Ace of Autumn. The windfall of money. Advice. So you've got... Yeah. You've got two... Will of Fortunes here, Taurus. Somebody is going to be very, very, very successful. And I see a lot of suitors. And I see somebody having issues with their ego. Thinking you're the shit and you can't be replaced when really you can be. Um, I feel like there's somebody stepping out on a marriage. Uh, and somebody sees this and they don't like what they see. And somebody's wanting to come in and take you out of that situation. Define legal entanglement. Something to do with the family. This has to do with the cancer. Look up. The meaning number one, a Pisces and a teacher. So there may be an abusive situation with the teacher where the teacher's not um, taking care of the kids the way she should. And maybe you need to go turn that person in. Make sure there's no abuse happening to your kids. You can't see what is blocking you at this time. Um, maybe a teacher has been lying to you about your kids' homework being done when really it has been, or maybe they're putting more pressure on your kids than there should be. Strength. Somebody who's... This may be a PE teacher that is forcing people to do stuff when really it's time to rel take, relax and take a break. Or maybe they're not letting your kids participate in um, academics. Or maybe a teacher has a crush on you. That could go many ways. What about this legal entanglement? It's saying again that you can't see what's going on with this teacher. This teacher may be abusive. Somebody's got allergies. This could be skin allergies. This could be airborne allergies. Look up the number 5, 15, 20, and 7 as your angel card meaning. It'll help help you to clear things up a little bit so you can see kind of what's going on. 
Somebody is constantly thinking about you. They don't like the situation you're in and they're wanting you to step outside of it. <sighs> Let's pull some cards from here. Somebody's named Owen. I'm hearing the name Chantel. And soon... Vance is going to be going to court with Cindy, Oldroyd, and Vlad. Somebody's owing somebody else an apology for something they've done. I feel like this is an abusive situation. And somebody needs to pay restitution. And this may be restitution, this may be child support. Make sure that you're always paying your child support. It is very crucial to your child's upbringing. A windfall of money and advice. You've got the will of fortune here. So I feel like if there is a court situation, you are going to win. That is for sure. And when you do... <coughs> You may lose a loved one. You might lose somebody to jail, incarceration, or possibly even prison. And this might make you feel like you'd be stuck in a predicament, but you won't be. Because you've got so many suitors here. You're going to get swept off your feet, and you're going to get swept off your feet quickly. People are watching everything that you do. They want to know what it takes. They want to know why you stay. And you've got a couple chariots coming towards you. You've got people that are hiding in your bushes around your house. And you got some peeping toms here. I know I do. But I figure as long as they're not going inside my house, I don't care. I'm really not too worried about it because I usually just dress normal. So, whatever. If they're that bored, they're that bored. <laughs> Alright, well that's what I've got for your readings. I probably shouldn't feel that way. I probably should be a little more, you know. Just make sure that you're dressing modestly and you're not trying to provoke anybody. But sometimes you just can't help. I mean, people will do it and it is just what people do sometimes, unfortunately. Well, if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. And if you are already liked and subscribed to my channel, thank you. Thank you very much. It's always greatly appreciated. And thank you for my spirit guides for being here. Have a great day.